Hi, my name is Caleb with a K. I'm 21 years old, based out of San Marcos, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Dude, you're young. Okay. Well, we had a big delay for recording this episode, so we've been hanging out for like an hour now, and you were a lot younger than I thought because you're a manager, so <laughs> this is okay. Interesting. Well, thanks for coming on over. What do you do for a living? Uh, I am a manager for Whataburger, like you just said. I'm a manager in... Five out of ten burgers. Hmm? What? What just... Five out of ten burgers. You okay? Okay, I'm not gonna go on. <laughs> I'm Feel not gonna free. get into that. But yeah, I'm a manager at Waterburger and Seguin. Uh, that's what I do. I work like sixty hours a week, almost. Jeez, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like well, recently it's recently it's been more like sixty, but you know, typically it's just like a fifty to fifty-five hours a week. Oh, yeah, you know, just, just fifty-five. So, what is this? The okay manager position. Like, what's your title? Is it like? Uh, general manager, like assistant manager, what are we looking at? No, nope. it's just manager. manager. Is that what they have there? It's just manager, 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 manager? Basically. So it's it's managers? it's like you start as a team member. You start as a team member, you go team leader, and then manager, and then OP, which is operating partner. Uh, and that the operating partner is the general manager. Like franchise owners? Well, or are they above that? Well, franchise owners are different from like operating partners. It's like if you're a franchise owner, then you're basically the yeah. operating partner of your own business. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What's your what do you how much do you make? Uh eighteen thirty five an hour. Why did I think managers would make a little more? Hmm, I wonder if that's more in Austin, is it? Do you think? I believe so. I yeah. think I think units in Wake Lakeway, I think is where it is. I think units in like way start off at like twenty something for managers. Yeah, yeah, but they're but they're I think also doing a forty hour work week that Whataburger is experimenting with. But Do my you get overtime? Yeah. What is your overtime? Like twenty seven thirty. Oh, something. that's pretty sick. And you get like twenty hours of overtime. <clears throat> yep. Roughly like ten to fifteen a week. 10, 15, 20 on the busier weeks whenever business needs it. So what do you like bring in on average on a weekly basis? What's your account? Um, anywhere from 860 to 1,000, depending on. Wait, the I'm sorry. Of hours. In what period? Weekly. Weekly? Uh, okay. 860 to 1,000. So about like 925? Yeah. Average, roughly. Yeah? Like today I got paid, I think it was like 960. Very nice. Yeah. Because I did 57. It's almost fifty thousand dollars a year post tax mm-hmm. and whatever else. Post tax, and then I get monthly bonuses at the end of every month. On top of that, mm-hmm. how much? Any well, the past two months have been thirteen hundred dollars bonuses. Damn. Mm-hmm. What what is it normally like? Uh, it's a lot because that's a high percentage of compared yeah, to how you're in yeah. The bonus payout recently has been like one hundred and twenty one percent of what it should be, which is great because everybody's been performing well. But what's it called? <clears throat> um. I'd say whenever I first started, our bonuses are like eight ninety, nine fifty, somewhere around there. Still good though, because you're walking yeah. away with four thousand dollars a month. Yeah. On average, some months are longer, some months are shorter, but four thousand dollars a month on average. That thirteen hundred in bonus is that pre-tax, post-tax? Uh, post. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So let's just say, just to be a little more conservative, say five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hits your account. Yeah, roughly. Just in case bonuses come down a bit, but even still, I mean, probably like 5200 but yeah. wow. Okay, how do you feel living $5,000? I feel pretty good. I just don't have a lot of extra because I make dumb Why? choices. Well, $60,000 <laughs> a year post-taxes, that's such a pretty damn lovely mm-hmm. for just a single income. Yeah. Because I think median household income in the United States is somewhere like $65,000. Median household income in uh, Austin's like $75,000. And before taxes, you're like, what, $75,000 almost? Like so that. it's, yeah. No, you're doing you're doing quite well. I'm glad they have the bonuses. That makes sense. The, the lower hourly rate makes more sense now that there are performance in- incentives. Yeah. And I'm a big proponent of performance incentives. Oh, yeah. And um, they clearly reward you well for that. So that's good. Now, I know... Um, why don't you just give us, because uh, that's exciting. Yes. We had an exciting part. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. But I know we're about to go into the stupid part. Yeah. The bad debt. Stupid the, death. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's your financial situation? What's up? Why are you like, here? It isn't like horrible. I just find myself not having a whole lot of extra after I pay my bills because I just make a lot of dumb decisions and a lot of that. Well, why? <laughs> like most of it's coping. Um, coping what? Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff. I don't really want to get into that, but okay. yeah, it's like I'm I'm dealing with a lot of stuff personally. Yeah, um, having to try and get through 
not, but dealing with that. Well, definitely the, don't give us specifics and only share what you <clears throat> want to share, but just so we can figure <clears throat> out like what kind of road we're going down. Is this like past trauma? Is this like mental health more just in life relationships? A little bit of everything kind of okay, not cool. as much like past trauma, but okay. it's, it's really like a lot of mental health stuff. Yeah, sure. Okay. So definitely looking at some potential therapy. Are you in therapy? Um, I've been looking into it again. Highly I was, I was in, what's it called? I was using better help. I think last year for about a couple months. Um, Heard interesting things about them, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was you great. Like it? it was great. You had a good experience. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then my, uh, they've offered called? to be a sponsor a couple of times, but cause I've oh, yeah. heard mixed reviews on it. I haven't mm-hmm. taken them yet, but yeah, I mean, I, what's it called? I heard them first off of a podcast. Yeah. So with hearing that, and I was also going through a hard time at that point, I decided well, to you give stop? it a shot. Um, because I was doing better. I didn't think I needed it anymore because mm. I was fine. Yeah, that's not how therapy works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just an ongoing thing. But I mean, you don't need to go like every week at some point. Like you can, you know, you have that conversation with your therapist and, mm-hmm. you know, maybe you can go uh, every other week, maybe even once a month. It just really depends on the relationship with them and then yep. what's best for you. And then determining that between you and your care provider. So, so lots of coping things. <clears throat> Lots of spending money, and it leaves you with very little money because, yeah, it left you with very little money. But there's also debts. Hey, mm-hmm. you owe, uh, there's like, a, there's a car. I, because I don't have the statements for the um, debts. So you have mm-hmm. a car debt, correct? If yeah, it's just, it's just the car and the credit card. I think it's my only two debts. Don't you owe someone money? Mm. In your email, like, we had something like, oh, oh yeah, no. yeah. It was from stuff from like high school that I still haven't paid him back for. Yeah. Oh, well, you're 21, so that's actually pretty recent in my mm. mind because I'm like so far from high school. It was like, like it was like three or four years ago. I graduated when I was like 18. So this car, what's the car? Uh, it's a 2018 Nissan Altima. Okay. Well, as we, I don't know if that year falls into it. People will definitely say so in the comment section, but I know Nissan Altimas, especially in that mid 2000s range, <coughs> are known for having transmissions that oh, yeah. just about. Uh, I mean, it's a CVT. A CVT in general is just going to either way. That means nothing to me, but mm-hmm. yeah. Well, the type of transmission it is, gotcha. it's garbage. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm if it, if it was a regular person. automatic transmission, it would have been fine. But no, everybody wants to go CVT because it shifts smoother. You don't want that. It's well, on right. this transmission, what do you owe? Um, I actually just did a payment today because it's every other Thursday. Um, two times a month? Why is it two times a month? Because it was a... Uh, Texas Auto Center. It's I, I don't know. That's how it makes it look more affordable was. for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is it? Every other? Um, two eighty six. Two eighty six every other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five seventy two a month. Yeah. At least you're making an okay money now. Were, were, were mm-hmm. you? Were you? How long have you been making this money? What were you making when you got this car? Uh, the same amount. Okay, and what's the total owed? I think, hold on, let me actually check that right quick. I'm pretty sure it's like 21000 I just got it back in May. Dude, <clears throat> you just spoke about the transmissions, understanding them. Why'd you go and get this car? Because I didn't think about it until after I got it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been fine so far. I know it probably wasn't the smartest idea. You weren't but thinking about it until after you mm-hmm. bought it. Something you should think about right now is hitting that subscribe button. Because we're trying to get to 750,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Love you all. What's the interest rate on this on this thing, dude? Yeah. It's uh, it's 18.9. Why? Why did you do this? Because... Why possibly? Like, why possibly does this exist? Yeah, because, well, one, the car I had before, absolute fucks. I still have this okay. car. It's you still a, have it? It's a 90, it doesn't drive. It doesn't okay. drive. Okay. It's, a, it's a, well, it doesn't you drive. You almost just killed me. Yeah, yeah. It's a 96 Saturn with like 150,000 miles on it. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't drive anymore. And I needed something reliable to get me from work and back. Yeah, but you got something that's like, by your own definition with the transmission, <clears throat> like less on the side of reliable. Yeah, it'll get it you was, there for a bit. I had a Nissan Altima mm-hmm. 2013, mind you. So, uh, and that transmission took a shit, so like 50,000 miles. Yeah, it's like early, what's it called? That was like early to 2010s. 
Yeah. Early 2010 Nissans are not even worse. Good. Yeah. Yeah. They're even worse. But 2018s have been somewhat better, I have think, they? from what good. I saw. Well, you owe $21,000 um, on it 18%. What happens if the transmission dies? If it dies, I have a like family $2 friend mechanic. Account? I have a family friend mechanic. How are you going to pay for it? How am I going to pay for it? Mm hmm. Try and get myself an emergency fund as soon as possible. Well, that's not an answer. <laughs> that's like, how would you pay for it now? Um, how are you going to get an emergency fund when. Okay. That's that's a good point. We'll yeah, get there. That's a good point. Okay. So you have that. What was this other debt you said you had? Just the credit card. This credit card? Yeah. But it's not a debt. You pay it off every month, don't you? I mean. This one? It's not fully. Like it, It's really weird because it's like it's never fully paid off. Like I never really like pay it off. You make like, the payments necessary to avoid interest. You haven't paid interest at all. Yeah. Like that's it's been that way since I got it. So, I mean, I guess you would qualify that as, like, paying it off, but I just... Well, you had a previous balance of 316 and then you paid 651 towards it, mm-hmm. paying towards your current balance. So, I think you're just kind of always ahead of the bill, which is good. Yeah. Technically, it makes you a credit card person. I'm a little concerned with it yeah, because the, of the, the way you're talking I, about the it. The reason why I don't think it makes me a credit card person is because I always spend more than I put on it. Well, then you shouldn't yeah. do it. That's why you get, yeah. get a card that acts like... An, if you want the credit building benefits mm-hmm. of a credit card... Get a card like the Fizz card, dude, where when you spend on it, it's a credit card, but it, it is immediately paid off from your checking account, like mm-hmm. a debit card. So it acts like a debit card, really helps uh, you actually stick the budget within you know your checking account, especially if you're doing like kind of like a digital envelope system. But maybe you're not. I mean, the way you spoke about it, in, I mean, this next sheet of just pink lines of death. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, and then what do you owe your friend? Do you actually owe your friend? Is this like a real thing? <clears throat> um, well, he gave me an Xbox and a monitor. It was like 200 bucks for both of them. Do you actually owe that? Is this something he's like, hey. like he's He's mentioned to me, to me a couple of times, but it was only a couple months ago was the last time he mentioned it. A couple months ago is pretty recent. Mm. So he actually but wants he, it. But like he doesn't mention it like every other week or but something like that. But he actually wants it. I'm just trying to determine how real this is. Yeah. Real. Okay. Yeah. He was my old roommate. You know, with your income, you should have been able to pay. You should be able to pay that any time you want. Yeah, yeah. Everyone always asks me what checking account I use and what high yield savings account I use. Recently, I switched over to SoFi. The reason I did it is because their app is very intuitive and it's super easy to use on your computer as well. But even better than that, their high yield savings account is all the way up to 4.4% at the time of recording this clip. That is so hard to beat and I am taking advantage of that all day. And not only that, but there's additional bonuses that I took advantage of that you can as well. Set up direct deposit, get a $50 bonus, are all the way up to $250. That's free money. That's free money. I took it. You could take it too. So check out my affiliate link in the description below. It's seriously awesome. I use it each and every day for my banking needs. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Getting better habits. Any other debt? That's it. Okay. Well, that's not bad, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, the car is death. Absolute death. Insanity. Mm-hmm. Stupid. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. But actually, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm even a little more disappointed in you. The fact that you don't have death debts, except for that one car thing, you just have, you essentially have a debt because the $200 should be able to be paid this second. Uh, and you don't have a fully funded emergency fund. That makes me even more disappointed that you wouldn't have that. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, it kind of makes sense when someone doesn't have a fully funded emergency fund when they're, they have like a billion trillion dollars in credit card debt, yeah. but you're just blowing money on stupid before we get into like your spending and stuff why don't you have an emergency fund you've come in here you've talked about it like you clearly know what it exists Mm, and that you should have it you're like well my future plan is i have an emergency fund Mm. why don't don't you just have one because i didn't know something like that was like a thing until Until, i started watching your videos which was like a few weeks ago okay yeah i've been extremely financially illiterate for Oh, that's okay. For the entirety of my adult life. Yeah, that, welcome to the United States of America, where yeah. people are not financially literate. That is just baked into our culture. Even the places, and the rare places that do have financial education within schools, people still walk away from it like yeah. nothing. Yeah. But you spent seven hundred eighty-five dollars here. Uh, but again, you pay it off. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I, I would rather have that go towards the car, pay off the car early. Mm-hmm. 
But one thing you should not do, $785 when you don't have an emergency fund yeah. and you're spending $785 of bull. Mm-hmm. And dude, for someone that works at Whataburger, you have an absolute obsession with Jack in the Box. Oh, obsession. Yeah. yeah, that's that's been a recent thing. It, it, it hasn't been. It Why? Hasn't been because just I don't pick know, up man. a. Like, like I make know a, I can make an accidental burger. Like, oops, like, we made one too many burgers. Oh like, no! Um, being a manager, you know, you can get free meals whenever you leave, and it's like I know I can do that, and then well, I'm just actually, dumb. What the f- done? Because that's then, stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. I know. It just is, do it if you yeah. know. If you yeah. know you didn't do that one day, the next day just do it. Mm-hmm. Why? Because this is every day. Yeah. And yes, you go and get gas sometimes, but then you go in constantly and you get endless amount of taquitos or whatever you're getting from the 7-Eleven bar. (laughs) So Jack in the Box, taquitos, Jack in the Box, Amazon, Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box, DoorDash, and I bet you're DoorDash and some Jack in the fucking Box and Jack in the Box and Raising Cane's and Microsoft, whatever, and Amazon Mm. and Amazon, Amazon, and you're getting some taquitos and Applebee's and Amazon or Microsoft and Amazon, Uber tripping, Uber tripping. You have a car, you spend a lot of money on it. Why are you Uber tripping? I was Uber tripping because Microsoft. the car was in the shop at the time because I was getting its AC fixed. Whenever I got it, the AC did not work properly. It was free. It was a free repair. Dude, you just spent an <clears throat> endless amount on stuff that was just nothing, mm-hmm. which is <laughs> something yeah. that doesn't even exist today. Yeah. The, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six purchases on here that aren't incredibly stupid, mm-hmm. where the rest are just incredibly stupid. Yeah. Like, 20 yeah, that look, are dumb, like almost, almost every single day. Yeah. Before, before I sent this in, I was like, yeah, I need to quit. <laughs> I really need to quit. So I've, I've cut back already, but mm-hmm. I'm still not making the best decisions because I'm still well, going why? to get it every now and then. Why? If you've seen the videos and you know how bad it is mm. not to have an emergency fund, not to mention the 18% death car. Mm. Why? Why have you not been like scared to the point where... Yeah. You just fixed it. <clears throat> I don't have a clear answer for you. My apologies. I don't. Have you thought about it? Have you reflected on this at all? Yeah. Then what have you reflected and thought about? Like, obviously, it's stupid. You know? No, but the why. Get to your why, dude. Mm. What is your why? Well, you said you're coping for a lot of things, mm. right? So that's your why? Yeah. It's like it basically just, you know. I eat away my feelings, which is bad. Yeah. And then trying Jack in the Box for the first time in a few years, their curly fries did something to me. So I, yeah. yeah. You're not as fat as someone like this would suggest. <clears throat> this would suggest. Because like, I'm on my feet 10 to 12 hours a day. Yeah, you are. Yeah. It's now, like I'm, I got I'm, that Jack in the Box gut. I got that panda gut. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I'm over here weighing like 210 now. Mm, how tall are you? 5 to 8, 5 9. Okay. Yeah. So I'm a little overweight. Gotcha. Yeah. Not going to get into the medical side of things, but you know, just in general, it's, we all need to watch where we eat as we were stuffing our face with Oreos out there. Cause we were waiting. Whoops. Yes. <laughs> we won't talk about that. It's no, okay. We'll talk about that. Okay. <clears throat> but come to financial audit, you get free snacks. Yay. Now we have a checking account. And this was something that actually upset me as I was going through this and why I'm being a little more hard already it's mm. because, okay, you're paying the credit card off. Congratulations. You're doing that. That's great. Hmm. But you're still paying that money that you have to pay off because of your spending is then being taken from your checking account, a checking account that you overdrafted on. Mm -hmm. So you're spending money that you don't have. Yeah. Which makes no sense either because you bring in $5,000 a month Mm -hmm. post taxes, post contribution if you're contributing uh, to any kind of retirement and post health insurance. Yeah. Well, I don't have health insurance currently. Because I, whenever I got promoted to a manager, I missed open enrollment. All right. Well, next time it comes around, we're signing up. Sign yeah. up, please. Yeah, that's in November. For your health. I promise it's worth it. Sign up. Oh, yeah. Plus, plus we want to get you in therapy. Mm. Where you don't have to pay out of pocket like you did mm. before. I somewhat paid out of pocket before when I had a discount code. But, too, I think uh, my the job I had at the time, I, was, I took a break from Whataburger and I worked at Valvoline for a little while. Oil change place. Uh I worked at Valvoline for a little while. They paid for the first four sessions that I had. Interesting. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. In your checking account right now is eight dollars and twenty four cents. That is not current. Because my statements don't update until like two days from now. 
Well, this is what it was at the time of the statement, though. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you might have more now. You might have less now. But at the yeah. point of reflected in here, you allowed yourself to get to a point where you had $8.24 in here. Actually, that's a lie. You've all, you, you went to a point where... No, never mind. Yeah, these statements are weird. But yes, $8.24. What do you have in there now? Right now, I have... 200 even because in my like that's still not much to cover like things uh -huh. but i have oh, 685 in my savings oh that you started 685 yeah but what yield are you getting on that what yield am i getting on that yeah i have if i'm being completely honest i have no idea what i mean transfer that to sofi seriously transfer that and you'll get sign up bonuses affiliate link in the description below but i it's because I personally use that 4.4% yield on that money, dude. Hmm. It's good. Okay. Uh, and then you'll get sign-up bonuses as well. So when you can track deposit. Yeah, dude. You overdrafted. When you were still you're still deciding to spend all that money. And then in here, you're going to Sonic <clears throat> and Jack in the Box and Whataburger. Why the f are you spending money at the place that you work at? Again, didn't you just say you get free meals? Yes, but I was paying for her coworker's food. She didn't have money. She's in a rough spot, so I help her out sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I love the loving spirit. Yeah, she does. I she want doesn't to do that, have, too. She doesn't have that issue a lot of the time, and uh, a lot of the times I do just, you know, promo it out. Yeah. But I fully support that, but you also don't have money. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand she didn't have money, but you literally did not have money. Yeah. Understand? Mm-hmm. I love the caring heart. It's hard to be angry at that, but you did not have the money to spend on that. What is this? Withdraw, transfer to something checking. Is that a, is that a different checking within here? Mm. Like you just would, huh? Mm. Oh. Because why, because why for a while checkings? the account I think that that's based out of the okay. So the account that my direct deposit goes into for a while I didn't have a physical card for it because I lost the card. <clears throat> but I had a physical card for my old debit card uh, whenever I had lost that card and I found that card. So mm -hmm. I had, so I have two different cards with two different like checking accounts, I guess. So for a while I would transfer money back and forth. If someplace didn't take Apple pay or something, I would transfer it over and use the card. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nintendo, Jack in the box, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Apple bill, water burger, Amazon, Amazon, Mojang, Amazon, Chick-fil-A, Microsoft, water burger, Amazon, Amazon, Apple, Portillo's and water burger, Nintendo, Speedy, stop. Taquitos. Why are you getting taquitos and torches getting... and Jack in the box and Apple and Apple and Amazon and Amazon and Amazon mm -hmm. and lucky ace and Amazon. Mind you, you were overdrafting again. You were overdrafting and we were like, no, let's go to Whataburger where we get free meals. Let's go there again. And then let's get Amazon and then Twitch TV. Let's I'm like, okay, I want to start streaming. That's great. But I only want people to subscribe who could subscribe to me, pay subscribe if it could fit in their fun spending. Yeah. You don't have that luck right now so don't support right now i wouldn't want you to support me hopefully this creator wouldn't want you to support them either apple bill um uh, maybe renting a movie and apple bill and more twitch and water burger again free meals and cash app and out money who knows where that went and doordash oh my goodness dude it's more mm -hmm. you're paying you're paying a creator on youtube and getting some taquitos and doordash Dude, all these combined all across statements, you, you you go out three times a day. Whether that be taquitos and then a water burger and then a jack in the box, taquitos, water burger, jack in the box, taquito, water burger, jack in the box, taquito, water burger, jack in the box. Over and over and over again. And door dashing and taquitos and taquitos and water burger and cash app and out twenty dollars. Who knows where the f that went? And DoorDash and Microsoft bills and Apple bills. By the way, you have these bills every second of your life. And DoorDash and DoorDash and taquitos and Microsoft and Cash App and out money. Who knows where that went? And Spotify, more Microsoft payments and taquitos, Crutchfield, Crutchfield Park, $170. Did you go to a game of some kind? Who knows? I don't care. Mm -hmm. Taquitos, Discord Nitro. Yeah, that's something that you need to pay for while you're uh, bouncing, while you don't have money and you're overdrafting and PayPaling, um, Babble, Babble, something Babble, 1618. Mm-hmm. How's that even close to acceptable <clears throat> in your eyes? Yeah, it does. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Since the time of these statements, like I've said, they're not current. Obviously, you know, we have quite a few of those Twitch things gone. Quite a few of the Apple things gone. Babble gone. 
I still don't know why you didn't have money because you, across all this, because you're at least going to fast food places and taquitos, which, by the way, add up and show your mindset behind things and not willing to be sacrificing, you spent like $1,000 on Mm -hmm. which for your income should give you $4,000 more. How are you overdrafting? Where's everything going? Yeah, I have no idea. No, no, no. Where is everything going? I have no clue. Yeah. I mean, if you add the things like the Crutchfield Park, what was that? Because that Crutchfield, that was a new stereo for my car. Okay, so now a thousand five hundred on both. Because you did not need that to survive. I want you to have that. And also, what the f- you spent twenty? You got twenty one thousand dollars. That five seventy two dollars a month on this eighteen percent, and you had to replace the AC and the stereo. Like I said, the AC repair was free. No deductible was needed to be paid on it because it was a new purchase. But the stereo, dude, the sound yeah. system. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah, just the head unit. That why? Wasn't needed. If you had to get a twenty one thousand dollars car, why is that possibly a thing you had to get immediately? Because you just got it this year. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't have an answer for you. An Xbox, it was just Xbox, a, Xbox. Yeah. 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 Auto notice and she had six thousand dollars coming from payroll total within the time of the statement. Six thousand dollars. You should have five. You had six thousand eighty. You should have at least four thousand five hundred hours left. After probably like fifteen hundred dollars of spending, if we combine some of the things that we didn't one hundred percent know, where is it going? Oh, a lot of Where's the a lot of the transfers or whatever. Like how there's a lot of the debits that are listed. It also lists the like I guess transfers that are taken out and like put in and whatnot. A lot of it. Um, let's see, like five fifty, maybe six hundred is taken for rent for my portion of rent. My mom. That's like nothing. For <clears> you and then my portion of the phone bill i think it's like 120 let's call 5,000 your average again your rent is 12 percent. people mm-hmm. would kill for that yeah there, there's still no reason why you don't have money yeah i mean the uh, there's the no rent. there's actually no reason and end up setting in a way that your friend has not been paid back yet mm-hmm. you've chosen jack in the box and taquitos and water burger over your friendship yeah like we can't be doing that going forward yeah no. that cannot be a thing mm-hmm. okay now, I know I, we're not going to get too deep because uh, you have full control on what you want to share and stuff like that. And that's totally chill. And I'm going to fully respect that, as I always do. Whatever it is, man, we got to get you into therapy, at least for the mental health reasons, and talk about your coping mechanisms and try to redirect into different uh, ways to cope in different ways and that's something i work on with my anxiety all the time as well and this is you know that's probably a completely different world but there's you know figuring out how to process things differently jack in the box taquitos and water burger every single day cannot be the answer to whatever is happening one for physical health reasons because fun fact those three are not the most healthy places to eat Mm -hmm. uh, including the salads at those places i mean you know you've seen the salads on your menu (laughs) i mean the salads are fine aren't they Aren't they with like their dressing and everything like a thousand calories still? I don't okay. think so. Okay. I don't think so. I think they're I think they're more like seven fifty. I think maybe it's kind of a lot. I would need to double check. Yeah, I would need uh, to double check. My, fil- my film it, guy over there, who's very fitness oriented, says that's a lot. Yeah. So still it, not healthy. Either way, all I'm saying is the places you're going are not healthy. Yeah. So think about the health, and then think about so physical health. Then obviously the mental health, you need to uh, pursue that on your own. I can't do anything for that. Yeah. And then there's the financial health, just your future. Do you have anything in retirement? Are you contributing? I don't think so. Do you get a match at work? I. What is that? Okay, so they most likely definitely offer a 401k. Yeah, I think so. Okay, might not push it hard. Do they have a match for managers and stuff like that? I understand I usually with those no places, a lot of the times the, you know, those like bottom tier workers don't get like a match, but you're not in that level. <clears throat> I have no clue. Ask the... Mm. A coworker or your supervisor or HR, whatever that correct method is, yep. if they have a match, do it. Just take the match no matter what because that's 100% return on your money. Mm-hmm. There's, there's almost nothing that can beat that unless you're taking out a payday loan. True. Definitely do that. And and you do not have a Roth IRA from this conversation. I am fully taking that. You don't know what that is. A what? A Roth IRA. No okay. Idea. Okay. Okay. No idea. 
So we definitely want to get you on the route of uh, the route of <laughs> getting your retirement saved up, and it's okay. You're you're 21, but the thing that's exciting about you, 21, is we if we can get rid of this 18 percent debt, which the S and P 500 will not be on average. So we want to get rid of it because with dividends reinvested, gets you about 10.5 percent year annually with all the down years and up years combined. So 18 percent we need to pay off because that's a better return on your investment than investing in the S and P 500. Once you get that paid off, we want you to start investing. Like crazy, and it won't even be that crazy for your age because it'll be like 20% because you're not old at all. And then, dude, from the early 20s, your early 20s, investing 20% of your income, even if you stay at this income level forever and never get raises, you're going to be a multimillionaire by the time you retire. And retirement's nice. Or do we want to be standing up all day at Whataburger when we're 80? Well, that would suck. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I don't want you to be doing that either. So let's get you on the path where you can get in a better place. Therapy, I will put into your budget. I don't know what. A lot of it's because you got to look at local resources right now, and you have to look at online resources probably for the most affordable options. But then when enrollment comes around for work, or even talk if there's anything you can do. Uh, but we need to get you on health insurance. And once you're on health insurance, your co pays towards therapy should be substantially less depending just look at the options if you're someone like me who actually uses their health insurance because i do therapy and stuff like that then typically you uh you can take the option where you pay a little more a month but you get better co-pays and stuff like that for someone who barely uses health insurance then you know you can roll the dice but when it comes to the overall co-pays versus the monthly cost but either way let's build you a budget so what did you say rent was uh, my portion of the rent, I think, is like six hundred, somewhere around there. I'll just Incredible. we'll just say six hundred. We'll just say six hundred. Utilities? Do you do anything towards that? Um, I pay half of the electric bill. Did you say you pay your mom for this? Mm. What's your living situation? Uh, it's myself, my mom, and my sister in a three bed, two bath. Okay. Mm. No, I think the rent there for us three is seventeen fifty. Okay. Something like that. So I paid like. <clears throat> Like, yeah, like a 600, 650. You said your there. sister as well. Is she contributing to rent? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, how old is she? She's 16. Yeah, fair. Yeah. I like that you're contributing to rent. That's pretty, that's good. That's good. Yeah, there's no reason for me not to. No, not at this point. And then you actually make, again, pretty good money, especially for your age, dude. You're killing it compared to most 21-year-olds. Most 21-year-olds have very much negative net worth. Your net worth is negative, but very much negative net worth because of student loans and a car and maybe credit cards. Yeah. And then they're not even making half what you make at this point because they're still in college. Mm-hmm. So, no, you're in an okay spot when it comes to income. We just need to clean up the debt. Yeah. Rent, $600. Uh, um, how much is, you said you pay half of utilities or electricity. How much is that? Yeah, roughly like 100 to 120 About 120 just to bake it in. What about internet? Internet, I pay that. It's uh, 100 Is that gigabit service? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay very nice google fiber no mm. spectrum because google mm. fiber is not available for my apartment complex boo yeah boo and i'm a gamer so i have to i have <laughs> to have, have i game. have to have that ethernet man <laughs> i have to i get it i get it don't worry we were talking before and he he, he said he'll do anything to get a 4090 let's get you to a place where you can buy a 4090 easily without even mm. a second thought how about yeah. that maybe maybe that makes would make you more excited to cut back on everything maybe maybe <laughs> okay uh your car payment is 572 a month mm. car insurance uh 389 Oh, because I'm 21 and I'm a dude. Yeah, that's, that's it. E- yeah, so I'm paying a thousand dollars a month, dude. I'm paying a thousand dollars a month on this damn car. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, guess you spent 400. Yeah, well, I fill up like every week and a half. It's like 400 in your statement, so hmm. for gas, interesting. Well, we may have put some of the taquitos in there. <laughs> Maybe it's probably closer well, to like three hundred or two fifty. Well, what do you think gas is? The the gas. I mean, it's fifty dollars to fill a tank. It's like every other week. I would say probably it's about two hundred, two fifty, because I get pretty good miles to the gallon. I get like thirty, thirty, thirty-two. Okay. Yeah. What's the grocery situation at home? 
Road trees. Um, trying to think. I think my mom spends like three fifty on groceries, and I pay her like a hundred, hundred fifty. Kind of help her split it a little bit. Okay, so she buys the groceries, and then you just contribute financially. Yeah, I will allow you to give one hundred fifty. <clears throat> Whatever she ch- decides to spend is up to her, but give her one hundred fifty bucks every month. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, uh, does is that include? Do you go buy your own toothpaste and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars just for all that good stuff. Whatever you need to just like survive extra. Call it the toilet paper fund. Yep. Okay. Any other minimum monthly payments that you have to take care of? Oh, do you need Discord Nitro? No. Do you need it? No, you don't. No. All those other subscriptions, I'll give you Xbox. <coughs> uh, it looks like you use Game Pass probably or something like that. I do. Yep. Okay. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to be a nice man, <laughs> a generous man, and allow you to have that. What is that? 15 bucks? Yeah, like 15, 16 bucks. Because if that is what you do after working 50 hours a week to wind down, because you're already at the point where you're working like the hours where I'd be like, yo, go work those hours. You're already doing it. Mm-hmm. So if this is what you do to wind down, totally chill. Yeah. What other minimum monthly expenses? All of the subscriptions. Think about it. I'll tell you if you need them or not. I'm trying to think. In fun fact, you don't, but. I don't. Okay. Um, cancel them all. <clears throat> yeah. Like, like I said, the, the other ones I've, um, what's it called? I've canceled, I think. All of them except for Game Pass, and then download uh, Rocket Money. They'll they'll uh, they're really good with canceling the. I re-commerce. have Rocket Money, but it okay. like it doesn't work weird. It works wrong. I don't know why. It, like I don't know. I don't know how to navigate it. I've tried messing with it a couple of times. It doesn't like. That is the hard thing about regularly. some budgeting platforms is sometimes they're mm. not as intuitive as they should be. But yeah. once you get them, they're really good. Yeah, because like I, I before they changed the Rocket Money, I used them as Truebill. Oh um, sure. Yeah, I had I had them like that too. So I just had an account like switch over. Okay. But either way, it still just ugh, it didn't work properly. I guess. What I don't like about your credit card spending, even though you pay it off every month, I mean you took it only fifty dollars into the credit limit, so you're like maxing it out every month. And yeah, I'm afraid almost. that if we raise that limit, you would just max that out every month and still try to pay it off. But mm. like, I, don't know, I feel like yeah. that would just increase your spending habits. I mean, for the past three years, I've had this card with a five hundred dollar limit. And I just continue to not overdraft it. But I think last year, whenever I was out of a job for a little bit before I started working for Valvoline, in the middle of me taking a break from Whataburger, I had delinquency on my card. Because I lived off of that for a split second. And then it stayed at a 546 balance out of 500 for like a month and a half. Uh, Maybe two months. Okay. Yeah. Any other expenses in your life that you have to deal with on a monthly basis? My phone. Oh, yes. What's your phone yeah. bill? Uh, like oh, 120, I believe. 120. And then I'm giving you therapy. Would you pay per better help session once the discount ended? Because um, you had a good... You had a good experience with them, so if you mm. had a good experience, then I'm chill with you going back to them. Yeah, well, um, I think it was like three eighty six per session for the month. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah, call four hundred. Say prices went up a little. Okay. Mm. Okay. So that's your budget. That's your budget that you're gonna live on until I say no more living on that. <laughs> this car is killing you, dude. With gas and car insurance and the. Bi-weekly payments? The stupid bi-weekly payments? You're just getting bent over. Cool. So even including therapy and all those lovely things, including Game Pass as well, because I'm a lovely nice man, $2,726 a month is what you need to survive. That's basically half what you bring in. Yeah. So, so there is no excuse more. for any money left over. If yeah. you actually budget this, use whatever budgeting method you want. I don't give a shit. Whatever works for you. Figure it out. 2726 What I need you to do is the first month, you set aside half the paycheck. So you should have about $2,726. Put that in a high-yield savings account. You can use SoFi like mine instead of whatever you're using. Actually, you already have a few hundred dollars in there, so we're getting close. Um, you know, we're starting. So put half in there, whatever that is, at least 2726 You have a one-month emergency fund in case anything happens so you can continue to support yourself and not put all the rent burden on your mom and you can pay your car bill, all that stuff. Yeah. Boom, you have that. That's the end of month one. Now, of the $5,000 you bring in, you have an extra $2,274. Woo! Now, 
you're going to be making a payment total because you're going to do that money because you're not spending a single cent on bull. Yeah, you're not. You're going to be putting 2,846 with your car payment uh, combined towards the car. So take the $21,000. Oh, also, by the way, Take from your savings right now because you're putting half. You're putting half of what you're making this next month into it. Pay off your friend two hundred dollars. Come on, just pay him today. Okay, I don't care. So twenty one thousand dollars. Divide that by two thousand eight hundred forty six dollars. Your car is paid off in a lovely seven and a half months. So eight and a half months. You have a one month emergency fund. Your fund is paid off, and you have a car that is fully paid off. And then your car is gone. Two thousand. 200 on a monthly basis in order to survive. Call it a six month emergency fund. You need 13,200. You'll have already saved up 2,726. And now you have an extra 2,846 to put towards it on a monthly basis. Uh, another four months, and you have a fully funded emergency fund. So a year, dude. Yeah. A year from now. You're 22. Yeah. You're 20. You're 22, and you have no cent of debt. Mm-hmm. You have a paid for car. You have a fully funded emergency fund. You have a great income. You are eons ahead of anyone your age. It's not even, not even close. If you sacrifice, or you could fuck around, do taquitos. DoorDash, Whataburger, Jack in the Box every day, pay this car off in the like 60 million months that you took out, uh, never have a fully funded emergency fund, and don't start investing until you're mid-30s, and then, you know, then you're trying to play catch-up, and then you retire, and you barely have enough money to retire, and then, you know, who knows what Social Security is going to be like by the time you retire anyway, so you can around and do that, or you can follow this plan, only a year of your life out of the hopefully like 90 you live, one out of 90, not a big number, not so big number, you yeah. do that, and you live the other decades and decades and decades of your life incredibly sounds worth it to me yeah it sounds worth it yeah so i mean that's the that's the annoying part and i get it it's always it's so much easier said than done now i cut back and i went extreme when i started uh when i learned how bad the debt was and i started earning from my own co- in, own income all commission based well most of it commission based and i just grinded and grinded and grinded and paid it off as quick as possible and then saved up uh you know a bunch of money for my own retirement and you know just started to play catch up with that and then went into the real estate game as well you know buying my own primary residence and then rental properties as well That's why I'm willing to say this, because if I was sitting over there knowing what I know and being having gone through the math that I've gone through on my own end, this is exactly what I would do, because a year of sacrifice is worth it. It is so beyond worth it. Yeah. Now, let's say let's say you retire at a lovely 60. So a little earlier than most Americans. Uh, And you start at 22. So you have 38 years. 38 years, let's say the 5,000 is what you make, even though I think you make a little more than that, but let's just say that, times the, oh wait, what am I doing? 5,000, 20% of your income, 1,000, duh, math, additional amount zero, additional $1,000 a month is what you'll be investing, annual rate return, 8%, which is what the stock market has done in its history over up and down years. Compounding, boom, that's a $3 million retirement fund by the time you're 60. Remember when I said multimillionaire? Yeah. I wasn't lying. Yeah. And that's because you have the years on your side. So if you take care of this now, dude, you have the years on your side. And f- dude, you could fire. You know what that is? Have you ever heard of fire? Um, I, I'm so bad at acronyms. Okay. Uh, uh, fire, fire, fire. Uh, financial independence, retire early. That's right. You could do that. You could just go crazy, decide all the money that you're putting towards this. You're just going to be investing, let's say, but for 20 years or 25 years. So just shoving all your money towards that. And then you could retire with $2.5 million by the time you're like 40. You live the majority of your life, hopefully, majority of your life retired and then just doing whatever you want to do. You could be playing on uh, the the uh 40 40 80 at that time whenever the gpu is all day every day 
But you don't have to do that. You you really don't. I'm just saying there's options that exist yeah. because you have the time on your side. You have the income on your side as well and the lack of debt within just a year. Now, what's exciting, though, in a year, though, you could probably move out, get your own place because of the $5,000 you bring in. $2,500 you can put towards your needs. No more than that, but that's like the cap it should be. So you could actually have like a rent and then, you know, whatever else, groceries and health insurance, all the stuff that are needs. Mm-hmm. 2500 but this is the lovely part that you can budget in for the different games and everything. You get to put, following 50, 30, 20, 1500 hours a month towards bull- And that only goes up as your income goes up to the same percentage, mind you, because yep. people lifestyle inflate, but mm-hmm. 30% of your income, and this still retires you with $3 million. $3 million by the time you're 16. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And you're still spending 30% on of- Yeah. Dude, keep your needs at 40%. You can spend 40% of bullshit. I don't care. As long as investing is at least 20%. That's the rule. Investing in what specifically again? Right. I forgot. We don't know what 401ks are. We don't know what Roth IRAs are. They are tax advantage accounts. And what I want you to do is get with the HR of your work and enroll in your 401k. Take whatever match they give. Now, the funds you get in. I can't give an investing advice legally here because I'm not licensed to do it. My own investing, I can only speak on myself. I do low in low cost index funds that represent the overall United States markets and things like that. And my portfolio averages about 10% a year across all the historic losses and gains. So, and there are these lovely things that I've done in the past, but I'm no longer doing, but I think work for a lot of people that I might do at some point called target retirement funds, not a recommendation, but what they are is you do like 2060 if you're going to retire in the 60s uh, or like 2060 and it starts off very aggressive then it gets more and more conservative the closer it gets to that end date and it just does all the investing for you essentially. It's very pleasant. Hmm. Now, a lot of 401ks, they offer a Roth option. What the Roth option does is you pay the taxes on the money going in. It kind of sucks, but all the growth that happens over the decades and decades and decades, which will be millions of dollars as we saw, you will not pay taxes when you take it out, which is awesome. Traditional, you get the tax advantage. of It it reduces your overall taxable income, but you do have to pay taxes on the gains when you take it out. So, honestly, best thing to do probably is like 15% into 401k. Uh, once you're out of debt, have the fully funded emergency fund, 15% into 401k, 5% into like a Roth IRA. That's a uh, essentially, okay, I'm going to, in the most basic terms, it's more of like an independent retirement fund. It's not attached to a workplace. It's your own. It's your little own version of a 401k with, with a much a uh, much smaller cap that you can put in. Right now, it's $6,500 a year because it's so lovely, the Roth IRA. And you can only choose between the Roth IRA and the IRA. You cannot do both. You can't max out both. So you got to pick out which IRA you want to do. Roth, because saving that money in the long term. But yeah, so that's essentially it. And that's a conversation that is worth going into detail uh, and sitting down with a financial advisor in like a year. And it'll honestly be relatively simple unless you get some wacko that tries to get you into every little thing possible. And in terms of just a normal dude, like even if you just sit down with someone from Fidelity and that's who I use who for my investments, like they'll help you out, man. Uh, so I wouldn't stress about that too much right now. That's a year from now. But a year from now, you should come here again and we should see no debt, including your friend, which should be done today. Yeah. And I want to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor, Aura. Are you sick and tired, just like me and everyone else, honestly, of receiving endless spam calls every day? I mean, look at this. Let, let me open my phone. Look at this. This right here is all spam. It's crap, except for one friend. There's one friend phone call. The rest is spam. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. But with Aura, they can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to. But... 
They make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle that for you. Aura also does a lot more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You can get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other things with peace of mind. Go to Aura.com forward slash hammer or check out the link at the top of the description below. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this episode. Uh, so no debt and a fully funded emergency fund and you're setting up retirement accounts. Woo! Woo. What do you think? Knowing yourself, the stuff you're going through, because again, we didn't address it. We don't know too much about it. We just know that you should get help for it. Knowing what you know about yourself, what you've been through, what you're doing, what do you actually think of this plan? I think it's a good plan. <clears throat> I think it's a great plan, actually. Um, it's just a fact of if I'm going to give it 100%, that's the thing that I'm having trouble with. How do you get yourself there? Hmm. To be completely honest, I don't know. I haven't been at 100% for a while, so I don't know. Um, mm. Okay. Yeah. It gets tough. Just like, just overall overwhelming stuff, like having to deal with a, the, like hundreds of people in a day. It's exhausting yes. physically. And 50 hours a week, dude. You work your off. Mm. You legitimately do. I respect the out of that. Yeah. That, that's something that we didn't even have to have a conversation about was work because you're just you're you're going hard, you're killing it, you're sacrificing. Yeah. Um. So I get that. Yeah. It's it's, it's it is exhausting. Why oh, that? Like one on my body, but two on my brain. It, oh my god. And we're nothing if not our minds. So find ways, well, different mental stimulants or different mental relaxation methods. You know, it's different for everyone, whether that be meditation, whether that be therapy combination, whether that be going walks and parks, whether that be playing video games, different things, Uh, going to the movies, different things like that, hanging out with friends, find what works best for you so that you mentally can decompress. If you are just mentally going just full steam all day, every day, it's going to be a crash and burn scenario. Now, I'm I'm good with going full steam each and every day for a temporary period to get us out of an extreme situation. But that's not where I want you to be forever. Yeah. Because you could go full steam ahead for a year and do this. But <clears> even <throat> if you went 80% in the stretched like an extra year, let's say it was a two-year thing because you went 75%. But if that actually happened and you completed this in two years versus trying to go 100% and completing this in one year by having like a 50% chance of crashing and burning, you know, I would take the two years because that still gets you to a better place overall, statistically. Yeah. Because if you crash and burn, then we're going to be in a bad place for years to come. So you know what is best for you. Yep. Me knowing what I know, this 18% car debt plus it's depreciation, not. you're not going to beat this in any investment unless you just get like, you know, a crazy gamble. But that's not investing. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that that's where my head's at. But sorry. Um I did kind of cut you off, so no, you're uh, good. continue. You're good. I honestly completely forgot what I was saying before. Well, you you were saying that, you know, just fully committing. You're having a hard time oh, fully yeah. seeing that. Yeah. Like like I said, it's difficult, I guess. I kind of shut down really easily whenever I'm surrounded by too many people, and that's the thing that sucks about being a manager. I'm always surrounded by at least 20 people in my kitchen, and I'm also surrounded by the 86 people in my lobby and the <laughs> 25 cars in my drive through especially on Fridays and Saturdays. It sucks. And it it's sucks. about one car an hour if I have any experience sitting in that drive through <laughs> mm, You can hush your mouth. <laughs> Our numbers are great. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. And, I don't know. It kind of bleeds into my home life as well because, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because whenever I'm at work, you know, a 10-hour shift turns into a 12-hour shift real quick. And then mm. having the 30-minute drive there, 30-minute drive back, I'm gone 14, 15 oh, hours a day right. almost. So yeah. Like, having that distance and then coming home, it's just like I try and go to sleep. Either I go to sleep immediately and I knock out for like 12 hours mm-hmm. or I'm trying to go to sleep for like two or three hours in bed. And I end up almost waking up late for work. I barely have enough time to hang out with my dog, you know? And it's like, it is a cute dog. I've seen yeah, pictures. Yeah, that dog, he, uh, I saved him and he saved me. Let's yeah. put it like that. Um, 
Yeah. It's how long have you been doing this? So hard. Um say probably since November. November. So not yeah, November is whenever I first got promoted to my manager because I was a team lead for about two and a half years before okay. I got promoted. We said f- what five and a half months total for the one month emergency fund and paying off the car. Something like that, yeah. What if do you think you'd be able to go incredibly hard, sacrifice and kind of suck for five and a half months? And then do you have the option to cut back hours or is it just what's given to you? It's some um, scheduled at least 50 a week. Can you say I, I just need. Mm-mm. Okay. No, as Bullshit. a manager, well, as a I manager, was... you need 24 seven availability. Well, that doesn't sound like a healthy workplace environment. Yeah. I mean, it, you kind of have, kind of have a set schedule, I guess. I mean, I'm working mostly 3 PM to 1 AM or 5 PM to 3 AM. And then two days out of the week, I work 10 PM to 8 AM. To give our full-time overnight manager two days off because she works five days out of the week and I work the two overnights out of the week. But then the rest of mine are just like mid evenings where I work like I'm the manager of the evening shift and not just a mid manager. Well, what I was going to say is go crazy for five and a half months if you can and then let off the gas a bit and build your emergency fund uh, a few months, like three months longer than it was going to take. But... Because before you quit and get a better job, which I'm totally okay with you doing, I still want you to have a fully funded emergency fund. So it's yeah. hard. Yeah. Again, talk to your therapist about this. You're nothing if not your brain. So take care of your physical and mental health first mm. and foremost, always. Yeah. Um, financial health is very important, but like you existing. Is like, okay. Too. And there's people have different definitions that they're like, if I'm not going to Paris next week, I'm not existing. Okay. F- off. But I'm like, if you're in like a bad, dark place, like that's not worth it to me. Yeah. So talk to the therapist and you know, this is maybe the plan that that plan kind of comes together with and mm-hmm. makes a fully you plan. Yeah. But th- this is what, this is what I think, at least from the financial perspective right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got you. Any final thoughts? Mm, I don't think so. A lot of me has been considering leaving. The money is too good to leave, but recently I haven't been performing too well. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to continue to keep killing myself to make this business run if yeah, I'm not out. even performing well. So yeah, I'm, there's part of me that's already started applying to a couple other places. Tesla being one of them, uh, working night shift of, yeah, uh, okay. doing What's it called? Night shift for 22 an hour as a production associate. Okay. So that's well, something that might be in the cards, but it isn't set in stone yet. Again, I'm okay. I'm definitely okay getting another job. I would mm. just either way we want to, if you get another job, make a little less and this whole thing goes a year and a half instead, still follow the same exact budget and yeah. then put just any extra penny you have towards the stuff in the order that we talked about. Yeah. I got you. And, and that's fine. If that's, if that's for your health and well being, this takes again, even two years instead of one, mm-hmm. you'll be 23. Yeah. You still have so many years on your side. That is so much better than the risk of crashing and burning, having this turn into a 10 year operation because you go into a bad place. Yeah. Very true. For Caleb with the K, this is a temporary sacrifice. I know the work is hard. So whatever puts his health first, put that temporary sacrifice and this dude lives an amazing rest of his life. Financially speaking for his hammer financial score right now, it's obviously not going to be good spending within a budget. That was insane. The taquitos and the DoorDash and the and water burger that should be free and all those jack-in-the-box addictions, zero out of ten. Debt, it's hard to give it more than a one with that insane interest rate on that insane car. So one out of ten retirement, there's nothing, zero out of ten emergency fund. Barely started contributing, so it gets a one out of ten. And real estate, not even part of the conversation, but honestly, maybe in like seven years for him or five to seven years, zero out of ten. Hammer financial score, 0.5 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below. I have some paid affiliate links there. I personally use those resources like the SoFi high yield savings account and the Acorns where I invest some money where you can put $5 in and get a free $5 using my link and some other educational resources as well. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.